Hi, <clears throat> welcome to a unboxing of the Visible Wireless Audio Adapter. Um, so yeah, I purchased this on Wish or Geek uh, uh, app uh, using the phone. Um, I think this was $15 and then you pay like 3 or $4 shipping. So it's roughly a $20 item which device, which is pretty cool. Um, they all run between $10 and $20. This one, you will see, it's it does both. It does a transfer and receive, so you can like uh, receive Bluetooth in, and then it'll it'll tr convert it back to an audio line, or you can have it go from audio line to a uh, Bluetooth something, you know. So it goes both ways. It has a switch. Um, so let's take a look what was inside. I actually opened it already, and I tried it out, so that's why I'm reviewing it real quick. So on the box, you can see there's a you see in the front here it says. Trans transmitter mode it can convert a device from a 3.5 to a bluetooth audio or take in a bluetooth device in and output it to your speaker so i use it for the second one which is the receiver mode bluetooth uh in the car to kind of save some money um i have a 3.5 millimeter jack adapter i installed on my car um it's an expensive de device uh, i didn't want to spend for a there's a more expensive device but it costs three times the amount that i paid for the original device i think the original was like hundred something dollars and this one's like almost four hundred dollars if you want to get the bluetooth the one version it was just too expensive so i figure i just kind of ramp off of it and try to try to get it back it just ends up being more wires in the end you have to charge the device or keep the 3.5 millimeter plug so um i went with this route <clears throat> and i use my phone but to handle the phone i have to actually mount my phone on my dash as well which is complicated it's not easy it's a very complicated car um but I did, I did do this, tried it out. The device uh, is, it looks sizable here, I guess. It, 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 it looks bigger than it really is. It's actually pretty small. It's a very small device. Um, it has uh, three buttons on there. Your, your switch for the transceiver and the power, power charging. It actually has a battery as well. So it has yes, operation hours with battery up to, um, well, I'm at the range, but it actually does have a battery. It does, it does run for a period of time. So let me open the box and get the instruction in here. So basically it comes with the instruction manual, the charging cable, and a male-to-male -male, uh, audio cable. So you could, whoa, sorry. I'm having some trouble with the stand right now. Okay. And so it comes with everything you need to, to utilize the, 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 the device. Um, the Bluetooth pairing is pretty easy, I think. It was, let me see what it said. I think you just push the power button, it turns on. And then, and then it'll just say like, it's if it's not paired or not, you can pair it. I think it, it just comes up on the screen. The little LCD screen says if it pairs or not. It's pairing, um, like I can turn it on right now. Okay. The screen's not all that great. There's maybe one little light, so you can see how like <clears throat> it's hard to read sometimes. Bluetooth disconnected. Um, see, there's battery life switch. You can barely read this stuff, goodness. Yeah, that light's not all that, I'm telling you. <laughs> so yeah, you can see how the blinking Bluetooth, it's in receiver mode, and uh, the battery life. Um, so yeah, it's very easy to, to, to use. It's switch. It's a bit small than I thought. I thought it'd be bigger so that I could kind of, uh, I like to have big buttons. So if you look at my thumb, I can possibly hit the, the, the power button. So that was the only, I guess, bad thing about this is that I, I'm, as I'm pushing fast forward, trying to get the audio to go, I'll most likely hit the power button. It'll pause it or mode button. It'll end up pausing it. So, you know, it does get a little annoying. I, I like them. It should have been a little more separate. Like some, some of the other pictures of some other devices, the similar, like, they were separate, but I mean, you get, guess what you pay for. You can pay a little bit more and try to get a nicer one. Um, so yeah, it has an up and down for um, song control and then the power, the mode button and the power. So you hold it down to power down again, but a lot of times I'm pushing fast forward. I'm hitting the mode button and it pauses the song or it does take some time to activate if I guess it went into like a screen sleep. If you push it, it has to turn back on and then you push it again to, 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 to for the action. Here's the plug for the 3.5 millimeter. Um, it worked pretty good. Just occasionally I get a weird static as I'm fast forwarding through the song. I don't know if it's the plug, if it, the plug's shifting 
or if the song just creates a little, there's a little static between songs, you know, I don't, it's a Bluetooth receiver, so who knows what it's doing. Um, but for the most part, it's easy to use. It's pretty cheap. And, uh, you know, you get what you pay for. You get, you get your, your parts and stuff that you need to get the thing running. So if, as a small device that has a fast forward, you know, fast forward and rewind button, that's not bad. I mean, it's, um, you know, I guess you could pay for a more expensive one that had volume as well. Okay, that's the review. Is it good? It's pretty good. I don't know if I'll keep using it because I have to utilize the uh, phone holder. And then this device, it ha you have to find a place to seat it as well. So, you know. Okay, thanks.